What's up, Archivers? Media Bias here from the Halo Archive. Today, we are going to do an E3 recap of everything that was announced a few days ago at E3 2014. With me, I have Halo Cannon's own Toa Freak. Toa Freaks, you can say hello. Hello. And uh, we're going to start right off with the Master Chief Collection. Um, specifically, we'll start with what was reveal- what we saw first, which was uh, the trailer. Um, as soon as I saw the trailer pop up, I just thought Halo 2 anniversary. And, yeah, likewise. <laughs> and then I, I kind of heard this, you know, this dark, deep, ominous voice. And I was like, you know, I, I was like, God, yeah. that sounds familiar. But it sounded slightly different from the Arbiter from Halo 3 and 2. Maybe it was just the quality or something. Um, but as soon as I saw the flash of um, now, you know, the now confirmed agent lock of the Spartan, I was like, oh, my gosh, this is all tying into one. Yeah, that was like when I saw that. I'm thinking first, it's like, oh, Halo Two Anniversary, and it's like, no, wait, Halo Five, and it's like, it's like, no, wait, it's Halo. That's definitely Halo Two <laughs> Anniversary, <laughs> you know, like or something like that. But why do we? Why are we seeing age? Why are we seeing this new, uh, this uh, mysterious Spartan? You know, the age as we now know, Agent Locke. And exactly. It like was. That. I had no idea what to think. You know, I'm sitting yeah. there watching it, and then. I was kind of mesmerized by just how amazing the visuals looked. Oh, um, yeah. I mean, the, what I can, what, what sticks out in my mind is when he's pulling that giant like covenant bomb. Um, you can actually see it. You know, space pickle. Yeah, the space pickle. <laughs> exactly. You can see it kind of grinding against and like just you know just ripping up the yeah. metal. It was oh, it was it was so cool. Um, but yeah, so you know we hear the arbiter, um, or we we come to learn that. Agent Locke is basically looking, I don't know if if that trailer was meant to be literal, but he's basically looking straight into Master Chief's past um, and, you know, kind of trying to go over the legends, the stories, everything that he's done. And he's very, very, uh, he's very, very interested in Master Chief and um, reasons unknown at this point. (laughs) Exactly. I mean, and, you know, we hear the Arbiter near the end he says something along the lines of um because the future lies in, or our, the, fu- the key yeah the seeds of our future were sown in his past thank you exactly but, yeah and you know the whole line about um you know we need you know it's like i tell you this not because i trust you but because we need him because be, or because uh all of our lives are at stake all, right and i mean i'm sure every you know hardcore lore fan when they heard that thought flood i know oh, I did. Yeah, it's been flooding the forums <laughs> pun not, not intended <laughs> nice i see what you did there um an accident but, but yeah it's you know so we we kind of all right we see that agent Locke is on saying helios with the arbiter the arbiter you know mentions not be he he doesn't necessarily trust him um but he needs agent Locke just as much as he needs chief it sounds like because he just needs help finding him and so it's sound, i mean from escalation we know that chief ends up leaving the unsc and you know we're not really sure of the the specifics regarding that but there's obviously something going on that's making chief leave as we see as we saw in the e3 2013 trailer when he's on possibly the arc searching for mendicant bias we we know that he maybe there's like a GS or something that's pushing Chief a certain direction. I don't know, just all speculation. But yeah, everyone needs Chief. It, it's pretty pretty clear. Um, which makes me think that Locke could possibly turn out to be good and not bad because <laughs> the picture yeah, they're like, painting. Everybody just like assumed bad because of that oh, because of the Oni symbol. But yeah, exactly. And and if we now that we know that he's gonna be you know, uh, uh, Marlowe in Nightfall, the official description for Nightfall is something along the lines of Spartan that starts to question the authority or the military that he's yeah. you know, a part of. It's uh, probably going to be a good guy. Not So he's looking for the chief, not necessarily hunting down the chief as a lot of people initially thought. Right, right. I mean, it's, I'm just, I was very... I was in terms of just that that trailer um, before we just get too wound up into like the endless yeah. spiral of, of <laughs> what could be happening. Um, yeah. That endless circle jerk. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I I saw that trailer and just thought this is amazing. I I just would not have thought they would have been able to tie both of those together into yeah. one. Um, 
And yeah, and then of course we have heard recently that there's going to be uh, prologue and epilogue cinematics that tie that tie this whole collection into um, you know the events of Halo Five. Right, which so. is I cannot personally wait for. We we've got you know so something along the lines of the Halo Four prologue and epilogue where you know it hints at the story. Um, we've been you know terminals have been confirmed in Halo Two yep. anniversary. Um, so we're gonna see, and they, I think it, it may have been today or recently. Uh, they three four three said that they're gonna make them slightly easier to find to the average fan, just so fans are more caught up with what's happening. It'll really be interesting to see what's put on the grave mine level. If it's gonna be somewhat level specific, that would be pretty cool. Yeah, that's definitely like I've seen. You know, on Halo Archive when we were just speculating or. Um, recently now on waypoints, like everyone wants to know how did that great, or at least the, the lore intensive people, they want to know how did that grave mind get there? It, oh, um, exactly. I mean, it, he's, it's obviously been there for a very long time. There's, yeah. Just, just long. sitting. Yeah. I mean, just <laughs> in sitting. like the two hours that the UNSC and yeah. Covenant were there, it, you know, before we met it or however long it was, but you know, it, it like, it took, th- uh, like three days, two or three days in the original game to just to get the proto grave mind that you, you know, punch its face in. <laughs> sure, sure. But, uh, and, and we know that on Installation 7 from Halo Primordium, uh, part of the Greg Bear saga, or, um, you know, the Forerunner saga yeah. written by Greg Bear, we know that there are multiple grave mines on Installation 7, so it makes you think, you know, maybe it's not so, um, you know, just, it, maybe it's not just a one-time thing in terms of that grave mine being on, on uh, Delta Halo. Maybe that's more of a, a common occurrence than we think you know hey guys thanks for watching my video it means a lot if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe and maybe share it around on whatever social media you choose your support is greatly appreciated i cannot stress that enough thanks for watching